Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to make a quick tutorial on how we can use the Binance 2-1 Bridge. Okay, really quickly, before I even get started, you must make sure that you are using the appropriate URL. I can almost guarantee that there are fake URLs out there to try and trick you, so make sure you use our official one, bridge.harmony.1. Okay, second thing, if you've had this page open for I think a little bit over five minutes, it's not going to go through when you push continue, so make sure that you refresh your page if you've had this page open. Okay? So, like I mentioned, today's video we're going to be focusing on moving our funds from Binance to Harmony. So on this right side of the page, we're going to want to make sure we select Binance here because we're not going to be moving any anything on the Ethereum chain. We're going to be moving Binance Smart Chain to the One Chain. Okay? And then, just under that, you're going to have to select your wallet. So where do we have the assets? Currently I have I have MetaMask here with the Binance Smart Chain RPC already installed. If I scroll all the way down I have 30.3851 Harmony right here and this is what I'm gonna wanna send from the Binance Smart Chain network and I'm gonna wanna send it to one. Okay, So I'm gonna wanna head and go ahead and click this. Currently it's gonna be showing BNB and I'm gonna show you how it changes when we start loading up some stuff on the left here. Okay. Second part, we also have to make sure that we know where we're going to bridge the funds to. If you know that you have the funds in Binance currently on your MetaMask decentralized wallet, you have to move those funds somewhere. So Harmony has two different options right now for you to choose. You can either use the one wallet, which is also used for staking, which we have right here, or you could use MetaMask, but you have to make sure that you have the Harmony mainnet RPC installed to make sure that it works appropriately. And we do have a video on how to do that already. Okay, For the sake of making things simple, we're going to use our one wallet here to connect. Beautiful. So we have, just like we verify here, 6.871, 6.871 here. And like I said, the Binance is showing BNB right now, and it will show one in a second. So let's move over to the left. We know that we are going from Binance to one, so you have to make sure you specified the appropriate direction. If you want it to move one to Binance, you do have to use one wallet. That's why it says one wallet right here, which is this wallet right here that I just showed us. Okay, so since we are moving funds from Binance to one, we have to make sure we have this option selected. And then we also have to make sure that we selected what asset we are moving. If we are moving a Binance chain asset that is not BNB, you're gonna wanna click BEP20. If you're selecting a Harmony Chain asset that is not one, you're going to want to select HRC20. If you're going to be moving BNB, you select BNB. And if you're going to move one, you select one. So like I mentioned in this video, we have 30.3851, as you can see here. So that is what we're going to be moving. So we're going to put in the amount that we want to move. 385, 30.3851 tokens right here. And then you're also just going to want to verify that you have the appropriate Harmony One address. So, like I said, this is where we're sending from, and this is where we're sending to. One wallet, O N E X K zero. And if we come here, it's already pre-populated it. But if I wanted to, I could put in the address and just click Use My Address. Let me see. Use My Address, and then it pops up if it hasn't pre-populated, so it knows to pull from your designation address, okay? And you just wanna make sure you double check. We have O-N-E-1, O-N-E-1-Q, that matches, and then C-X-K-0, C-X-K-0, so we know that it copied over appropriately and is gonna send our funds to the correct address, which is this one right here, okay? So now that we have that set, we have the amount set, we know that we're sending one, and we know the direction that we're sending and we have our to and from address loaded up, we are ready to continue. Okay, and like I said, if the continue button is not working, you're gonna wanna make sure that you come in and refresh and go ahead and go through it again. So I'm gonna do this a little bit faster for you guys. 385, use my address, we have BNB1, Harmony, beautiful, and I'm gonna press continue, okay? Now I just have to approve that this amount is okay, 30.385, continue, okay. The MetaMask may ask you to sign with slightly higher fee due to 150,000 gas limit estimate. However, you will be charged similar to the above estimate based on the actual gas used. 
confirm. Okay, so it's going to cost 57 cents in BNB to move. And while this is loading, keep in mind that if you're going to be moving small amounts of assets, it might not be as worth your time based on the amount of fees that it will charge. Okay, so this should be charging, I believe, BNB. Perfect. So now we finished stage one, success. We finished stage two, success. So like I was mentioning, we are moving 30.3851, which is worth, I believe, just above $2. So the fact that the fees for BNB to move it probably totals about 75 cents, that is going to seem like a lot in the grand scheme of things. However, you could be moving 100,001 and the fees would still be roughly the same. So when you're moving amounts on the bridge, specifically if you're moving from Binance to one, make sure that you guys are moving an appropriate amount that you are comfortable with paying the fee for. So I would not be moving 30 if it wasn't for, you know, to build this how-to video for you guys. I would likely be moving a little bit more just to make sure that the, the amount that I'm paying in fees is equivalent to the amount that's being moved. Okay, so now we can see the status was successful for the 15 block confirmations, and now it's gonna be a couple seconds until the tokens are unlocked on the Harmony chain, and I'm gonna be able to come into this wallet and see them, oh, it just did it. See how it just populated right here? Boom, completed. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click my wallet, and now you can see that instead of having, I believe we had six point high, 6.8, 6.7, I can't quite remember, but now you can see we have our full amount in here, and we are good to go, all right? That is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a good one.